Well, it's February, so that means it's time to head out to the lake and enjoy the Eel Pout Festival in Walker. For this week's Community Spotlight, Haiti Clotter shows us what this weekend is all about. Eel Pout. Eel Pout 2017. The 38th Annual International Eel Pout Festival reeled several people to Leech Lake in Walker on Saturday. A festival that usually brings in more than 10,000 people saw about 4 to 5,000 due to vehicle weight restrictions, according to Eel Pout event organizer Jared Olson. I mean, we had warmer weather, obviously, the week before, uh, which, you know, hurt some of the landings and stuff like that. But now everything's really hard, and it's, as you can see my breath, it's cold out now. Not everyone comes out just for the eel pout. It's about having a good time, says Travis D. Domenis of Farmington, Minnesota. He was enjoying the atmosphere and even went for a helicopter ride. If we're going to be honest, it's not so much a fishing tournament as it is just kind of a party atmosphere, but it's fun. You know, we keep it, keep it pretty real here. There's plenty of eel pout to go around if that's your thing. If it, there was anything I could eat, it would be pout every year. I've never been to a place more barbaric and fun. This is this is everything I've ever dreamed of. It's like Wee Fest, but better. I don't like Wee Fest. I like eel pout. Keeping up with tradition, you're supposed to kiss the fish. <laughs> Will. Our very own Justin Prince got in on the action too. A lot of people will take them and eat them or we have them frying in the tent right now also. So everybody likes to try the fish and just taste it. It's a little fishy gamey tasting but you know it's Eel Pot Festival so we're eating it. Todd and Troy Thoma drove in from Minneapolis and used the weekend to bond as brothers. So. Well, we have a cabin in Hackensack so it's convenient to come up here and uh, we've been coming up here you know since the 80s so it's always a good time to see friends, have a good time with crazy people. The festival also offers something to the community. It's a big part of the community here. I mean, obviously February, not a lot's going on in northern Minnesota when you're standing on two feet of ice. So I think everybody really appreciates it and likes it, uh, and I hope they all do well this weekend. Until next year, for this week's Community Spotlight, M. Walker, Katie Clotter, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.